Today we're going to continue with project 1.8 build a body. Our main focus for today is to look at two different types of event handlers. One being the touch up, the other being when drag. Now the first one we're going to look at is going to be our touch up behavior. Now the event handler that we're going to be using for this is called a touch up and we're going to be using coordinates on the X and Y axis in order to get this event handler to work correctly. Now what your touch up behavior is going to do or what that event handler is meant to do is when the user stops touching the sprite or they lift their finger after the touchdown event, this is going to provide us with an XY position of the touch. This is going to be relative to the upper left hand corner of your canvas. Now what's basically happening here is when we remove our finger from that sprite, we are going to get whatever coordinates it is at that given time. Now for our event handlers, we're going to be using the when brain, respiratory system, urinary system, and digestive system touch up event handlers. So we will need to create an event handler for each of our organ systems. Now the logic we're going to be using for this event handler is as follows. If the user stops touching a sprite, we want that sprite to be triggered by a touch up event handler. If the organ system collides with the organ system placement, then we're going to go ahead and call that organ system to go ahead and collide with the organ placement. We will need to move the organ to whatever organ placement it belongs to. We will also need to make that placement disabled by turning it to false. We will then take the organ system itself and disable that as well. If our condition is not being met and the organ system doesn't collide with the organ system placement, then we're going to call that organ system to move back to its original location. Let's take a look at how we would program these event handlers in our MIT App Inventor. Now, once you're in your MIT App Inventor, we're going to focus on just the touch up behavior for right now. We are going to need to do this for all four placements. The trick to this is getting one of your event handlers completed and then just simply duplicating that three additional times. You can then change the features or components within that event handler to match the organ system. We are going to take a look at our brain organ system as well as the organ placement. So the first thing we need to do is in our block view, we're going to need to go ahead and find our brain. And from there, we're going to need to find that touch up event handler. Once you have that touch up event handler, we need to create a condition. And the condition that we're going to be using for this is going to be an if then else statement. So if my condition is met, then something will happen. If the condition is not met, then something else will happen. For my condition, if the brain collides with the brain placement, then we should get it to move. So we're gonna need to go ahead and find our brain again. And in that brain, we're gonna look with a purple block that says collide with other. We're gonna bring that into my condition. And here what we're basically saying is if the brain organ system we want this to collide with the brain placement. So we need to find the brain placement in our components and we're gonna scroll down until we can find just the word that says brain placement at the bottom. Now, if that condition is met, what we want to have happen here is we want to call the brain to move to the brain placements X and Y coordinates, which we've already set here in our variables. So we're gonna go back to the brain organ system and we're gonna call that brain to move to the X, Y coordinates. Now by calling it to move to the X, Y coordinates, the next objective is to place it in the correct placement on the X and Y axis. So here we're gonna go ahead and call our variables. So in the variable drawer, I'm gonna go ahead and get two different variables. So I'm gonna bring the first one in and then just simply duplicate that. The first one we're looking for is the brain placement X, which is already set to 129 on the X axis. Now be careful when selecting your variables because we do have quite a bit of them in our list. We're gonna find the global brain placement X and we're gonna find the global brain placement Y. Now the placement X should go into your X coordinates and the Y should go into the Y coordinates. Once we have that condition, the next set is to make both the organ system and the placement disabled. Now, how we're going to go ahead and do that is we're going to stick with our brain since we're there right now, and we're going to go ahead and set the brain enabled. So when we find our set brain enabled, and that is going to stay in that if statement, 
we want to be able to set that to false using our logic statement. So this will no longer be able to move. We won't be able to drag that brain anymore once it collides with the placement or when it collides with the correct placement. The next thing we want to do is we want to take this brain placement and we want to turn it off. We don't want to be able to see that dot anymore. So the way that we can do this is we're going to go ahead and find where the brain placement is visible. So we're going to set that brain placement visible. And just as before, we're going to go ahead and set that to false. And we can do that by simply duplicating that block. Now, once you have that set to false, the next thing we have to look at for right now is basically getting the brain to move back to its original location if it doesn't collide with the correct placement. So just as we've done before, we're going to go ahead and call the brain to move to it. And I'm going to duplicate this whole block of code and we're going to have this get global brain placement X as well as the brain placement Y. The trick to this one is we don't want this going back to the global brain placement. We want this going back to its original location. So we have two additional variables here, which is setting the global brain X and the brain Y back to its original, which is 219 on the X and 286 on the Y. So we're going to go ahead and switch our variables instead of being brain placement. What we're going to look for is original brain X as well as original brain Y. Once we have that selected, we can go ahead and drop that into our else statement. You'll need to go ahead and duplicate this event handler three additional times, one for each of the other organ systems. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the when dragged behavior. The event handler we're going to be using is when dragged. And when the user drags the image sprite, the starting coordinates are where the screen was first touched. The current coordinates describe the endpoint of the current line segment. Just as before, you will need to create an event handler for each of the organ systems. Just as before, you will need to create an event handler for each of the four organ systems. For example, when brain, respiratory system, urinary system, or digestive system is dragged. The logic being used for each event handler is as follows. If the user starts to drag a sprite, we will use the organ system dragged event handler to trigger the event. We will then call the move to to move the organ system to its current location. Let's go ahead and program these event handlers in our MIT App Inventor. Now, before moving on to your when dragged event handler, it is important to note that you should have the digestive system, urinary system, respiratory system, and brain system touch up event handlers completed. You will need to have all four of those event handlers in order for your program to work correctly. So for our when dragged event handler, what we're going to go ahead and do is find one of our organ systems. And we're going to stick with the brain system for right now. In my brain system, I'm going to look for the when dragged event handler. When I have that when dragged event handler, what I want to look for here is when I drag that brain, I need to get not only the starting position, but as well as the current position as I move that sprite across the screen. So as I drag the brain, what I'm going to need to have occur here is I'm going to move the brain to wherever that current X and Y location is. So I'm going to go back to my brain and I'm going to find that move to again, and we're going to drop that in. Now, before we use the X and Y with a variable, instead of using a global variable that we've created before, we're going to be using local variables. So these local variables can only be used within this event handler. So we're going to go ahead and get the current X and drop that into my X placeholder here. And I'll go ahead and get the current Y and drop that in as well. Now that I have those two placed in there, I've completed my when drag event handler. You'll need to go ahead and duplicate this three additional times, one for the respiratory system, digestive system, as well as the urinary system. Before moving on to the next part of this project, it's good to go ahead and test to make sure that your app is working correctly. We're going to go ahead and test our organ systems to make sure that when moved to the correct location, they lock into place. And if placed in the wrong location, they snap back to the original location. So the first thing we want to do is just test our organ systems. Just drag them anywhere on the screen away from the black dots and release. 
And by doing that, they should snap back to their original location. So we can test all four of them out. And as you can see, they are working just as they should. The next thing to test is if dropped into the correct location, they should now be able to be disabled, which means they will no longer be able to move and those placement dots will become invisible. Now, don't worry about the location on the human body outline. Most of these are not going to be aligned to the middle. We can go back and fix that at a later time. For right now, we just want to test to make sure that when dragged, they lock into place. So the first thing we'll do is drag that brain to the top of the screen. And as you can see, it should lock into place. And if I try to move it, it will not move. That dot also became invisible. So we turn that off by setting the value to false. The next would be the respiratory system. And by dropping that respiratory system, again, you can see it's not kind of where it should be because we're placing that based on the upper left-hand corner of the image. So we are gonna need to adjust that later on, but for right now, that is fine. The next thing we'll do is take the digestive system and place it in the middle. And last but not least, the urinary system. If all of your systems do lock into place, just give them a quick try to make sure they can no longer move. And then we are ready to move on to the next portion of this activity, which is correcting the placements as well as setting up the reset button.